a good option. He is going to lock that one away. Looking to abuse that top lane, get all the Klepto that he wants. That Lightning Rush double auto. Idea to try to contest this. Yep, and so it's just not going to be contested. No way for QV to follow. This timing on the teleports. On. Getting hit by a bunch of damage here as Gen.G do effectively take that one down, but can the fight actually be in their favor? Good Unbreakable delays a lot of damage. Glacial Fissure getting a couple of knockups, but this is a disaster. The pickup, the fear beyond death, and the cow gets turned into a stake. Now Pawn trying to get some damage down as well, but Gen.G fighting oh. as a unit. Brilliant. The infernal. Yeah, Cuvee had rotated down, teleport in hand for Rascal, but didn't have his flash. Atomic didn't want turret, to... it's just used to accelerate gold generation. You're never going to win the game through top lane without already having barrel. lane turrets are economic turrets because that's the lane with the most valuable inhibitor inside of it. Yep. To the furthest proximity from Baron, so. Peanut in trouble, yeah. as this is King Zone's favorite wow. rush. And okay. Pawn is going to we want to be endorsing. <laughs> Uh, taking first turret as Siva though, on the bottom side of the map, well, taking the first turret in your lane, certainly a good feeling. Nice Morel and Amicon, Proto Belt, you're not going to have that option available to you. Not so necessarily as well. Oh, in goes Tucson, gets a nice double knock up on the back line. I spawn, not quite enough there, as now Rascal gets a decent knock up. Pawn dives into the back line, but has the shroud. Look at the AoE damage! The perfect execution's beautiful, and the headbutt is even better, but the fear beyond death says it doesn't even matter. Ruler decides to go in, and that means King's own members start. Looking to only capture an Ocean Drake, but no matter how you look at that, Gen.G did just completely turn that on. You can look at it almost essentially as a completed item. Cuds wanting to tech here all night. Yeah, so. on your memoir or something like that. Is there anything you want to talk about? <laughs> you know, Peanut's going to face check. Way to the front line, but Rascal doesn't even get through his shield. Oh, no worries man. there. This is a big one. Okay, the Scion can land on the only ah. one as QV just insta-kills Pawn. It's a disaster, actually, as Peanut diving into the back line. Depth can't get any autos. The fear beyond death is well and truly well Talked named. about that a few minutes ago. Kingzone trying to respond with whatever they can do, which is to eliminate the minion waves and then try to get turrets, but I think words would fail me, so. Well, at the moment, uh, QV has picked up a really cool hat. The best sword just feels like Genji will be able to do whatever the heck they want. And uh, there is no Akali on the map. Four King Zone at the moment. Okay, Fly may have bitten off more than he can chew. His Cuz does a lot of damage, but QV is going to come down. Disdain going to bring Rascal back into the two members of Genji, but Gargoyle's Stoneplate. Keeps him alive quite nicely. Now Genji like their chances taking this in a turret. So do I. Goes down very easily. Very easily. It's only 4,000 gold. Nothing really to ride home about. But it just feels like Genji have the front to back team fights working out in their favor. There are so many options for King Zone in the late game, but they require what ifs. You know, it's like what if Pawn can kill uh, the Kaiser in the back line? What if Deft can actually get some ricochets through this team in order to do that AOE damage? And how can Rascal actually get himself the multi-man CCs on the ultimate and the Q in order to make things work? Right now, I mean, that Q is onto oh, a That war. one ward that Rascal's spotting right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they don't know about the wolf ward. Yeah, and the cannon is coming in. Now King Zone actually going to be backing away. Oh, man. Vaughn's going to dive into the back of the pit here as the Slicing Maelstrom right on top. Tucson um, gets QV out of there, though. Still hasn't pressed his ultimate button as the kickback is on to Pawn. Slicing Maelstrom does come out, but immediately he is taken down. Deft, full health in the back line, and this could be the team fight they're looking for. Rule is going to be taken down. Peanut, the next one on the menu for the Siva, has a stopwatch to buy some time, but King Zone are dealing with everyone. A triple kill now for Deft Siver, and this should be a King Zone Baron as Rascal flashing on top of Fly. The decimating smash is good for the slow, and Pawn should eventually get rid of the Crab God. Yeah, well, oh, Fly even using the stopwatch right there. And he goes down as well. Are we just King looking Zone. for the win? Yeah, they're just looking for the win. And this is something I was talking about a little bit earlier, that the death timers exactly. are just so high. If a fight goes as clean as it does and multiple members are standing, Kaisa, Sivir, they can both just raise turrets so quickly. And King Zone, after losing for the majority of the game, yep. turned one team fight around. Kyuve couldn't quite locate his R key. It is quite hard. In the immortal <laughs> yeah. words of Skara, 
They were losing until they won. LS, it's exactly oh, what happened. That's basically what he does anyway. Is that's uh, that's not a no, card. This, uh, that's uh, a card that's a Sejuani. Uh, I'm tilted. He's going to get hit by the Q, and otherwise nothing's going to happen. Is there? Passive. Be very careful, as this could certainly happen. The flash forward, first blood, a solo kill for Ruler. Yeah, getting aggressive. Pawn's coming on down. Oh. He smells a tasty brawn. And wants to be able to pick up this kill. Vision available, but Assassin's Path gets him in there immediately. The heal going to be used, but the slowdown on the ruler wants to try and get a kill back. But that's it. Pawn grabs the kill. And Abyssal oh. Void, I mean, Realm Warp. Underneath the inner turret bottom side, the Ignite going to be used. The Grey Hell yeah. utilized to perfect effect. Absolutely beautiful usage of the Tom Kench passive and the Grey Health right there by Tushin. And that was a really good roam that Pawn was able to pull off. Didn't really matter that they had the exhaust ready for him. Now, on the flip side, Genji, they do get the Herald. They get a lot of plates, and they get the team. We're going to make use of it. It would definitely be King Zone a little bit more than Genji. Okay. Whoa, all the buttons are going to get landed, and Fly's the one tanking the turret. Cuz just straight up misses the ultimate, and that is going to be that. Genji just get a free kill. Rule is moving on over. Life's there as well. And now that's going to be the mid tier one turret falling. And look at how healthy the mid and top tier one turrets are for Gen. Yeah. What will be the next dragon capture of the game? Or what will be available? Nice Brom block. Oh, here we go. That's a spike. Be very careful. Yes. Bottom lane out of turret is going to get sacked here. And you can see Roach just playing very Try to stop that. We can see Talon, Tom Kench, and Ezreal trying to come down. But the damage to the turret is already done. That Talon does. Absolutely laughable damage. Yep, it's just gonna get taken out. Yeah. Ruler does a lot of in a side lane, and as a talent, you can certainly do that. Obi Boots is going to activate most likely as he jumps over that ruined turret, but life. Ooh, ooh, I don't know whether Peanut can actually find too much here, but the Q is going to land. Oh. Gets the flash kick. Happy birthday, Peanut. Looks real good so far as Ruler can dive in on top. Killer Instinct is exactly well, at least that. have his ultimate back for that, but. Genji going to be able to pick up this top tier 2 turret off the back of that. Yep. Without any contest. Oh. oh. Rush, trying to do his best aiming impression. Is deft but unable to lock Around down. Behind this Infernal Drake. Uh, Pawn. True shot Barrage actually gets a lot Pond? of value there. Pawn goes down towards the bottom side of the map, but the dragon has been started. Low health bars. King Zone actually in a 50-50 position. There. Okay, now can the is. Talon actually get through? Lee just comes over, takes it down, and Pawn's not even fighting. He's trying to take down wards. Fear Beyond Death comes in, and Gen G win the easiest fight of their lives, Ross. <laughs> I just, you know, I had to tell myself we're, we're on cast, we're on cast. You know, I Rule have to really kill hold death. back there. All right. all right, well, this game is all but over, I think, at this point. Two Infernal Dragons for the Lee Sin, Zoe, and Kai'Sa. Baron, all of the items, all the kills, all the drakes, and the Baron, like, it's, this, this feels about as over as it can be, but we'll see whether they can actually finish it, weirder things have happened, Death bouncing forward, Pawn looking for a flank, but LS this is looking for a way to talk about Kingzone in a positive light, and I think everyone's coming up short. Oh okay, man. here we go. I get the kick back onto Cuz to deny any engage. Redemption will bring Genji's health bars all the way back up again, though. And the Pawn can proxy the wave. They're out of minions, but they're out of turret, and they're sending Peanut there. Oh my God! Death just explodes. Zoe Zoe is the one that takes all of the damage, and this is a one v one between Peanut and Pawn, and uh, Peanut's winning. Oh! Yeah, Roach gonna take a lot of damage here. Maybe overstepping just slightly. Rascal still needs to be respected. Lee Sin's still hunting. Holy! All right, yeah. Ruler just does so much damage. Deft this time has his health bar built back up again. And King's Zone's still not gonna go down without a fight. Health bar's oh. a oh, Okay, True Shot Barrage does a lot of damage. The dive board is sacrificial there from Kaz's Killer Instinct. It's probably going to kill Death inside the belly of the Tom Kench. It's a triple, almost a quadra, but Fly is going to steal that one away. And now Genji should be able to take this game down. Teleport in the hands of Roach. He'll get his health bar back and move back in here to try and win the game. Yeah, and this is definitely going to just be the doom push. There's no way Rascal can hold off all of these members of Genji. These are going to be the two Nexus turrets falling, and we are going to a game number three. Yep. 
King's own their first 2-1 victory or defeat is going to be the, at the hands of Gen G. And that's exactly what Gen G does. They like to spend as much time on the Rift as possible. It's gonna happen again. Syndra. Oriana becomes good again because she has a better kit than you. Um, and Lulu was actually brought up and you should heavy for King's own. But this isn't, this is just kill a dragon and there's nothing Gen G can do. Peanut's top side of the map. Yeah, and Peanut's gonna be like, okay, well they're getting dragon, I can at least go in there and try to steal away the blue and maybe even get a Dover. They're looking for this gank in the mid lane, fly in trouble, immediately has to flash to get himself out of there as the wild growth on top of Cuz is good, but Stopwatch is gonna be in there. Tucson special delivery! And that is first Cuz's move towards the top side of the map. Wanting to do his best to punish Roach. Disdain comes in, but they're just trading here in this lane. Ultimate uh, going to be used very, oh, very early. All right. Okay. The burn down is going to come in there as now Roach gets charged. Cuz coming in, wants to get the knock up. Slow comes down. Oh. Can he actually get any more done yeah. here? They do manage to get huh? the stopwatch out. Audacious charge. Oh, that purge was really nicely timed. And Roach wishes he had the ultimate. All right, and they are summoning the Rift Carol. Oh, Rush man. Off Mirage. Cuz gets sniped. And Urgot gets the shield back right at the end there. And then accompanied by True Shot Barrage from Ruler, able to kill the Xin Zhao as he's summoning the Rift Herald. Yep, really nicely done. Pitcher in Pitcher, though. That is going to be a dead Akali on the top side of the map. So the big objectives are continuing to go into the hands of King Zone as oh. all right, True Shot Barrage. Just gonna help take down the dragon. Yeah. And the smite gonna be used by Cuz to secure it. Genji, they're getting themselves the top tier one turret. Infernal Drake, next dragon to be coming up on the map. This is against the flow of play. Genji actually isn't Gen Z something. Gen Z. Isn't Gen Z a, a reference to uh, a certain? It's going to leash it. And oh they man. It out of the pit. This is a scary one. Roach and Rascal are going to be fighting this one out. Ultimate running onto Tucson, but that's the Drake taken by Gen G. Looks like the mid-tier one turret is going to be next to fall. Yeah, this positioning is not great. He's just going to get killed for free. Roach was lying in wait for so damn long. But man, this is not a... I'm trying to think of nice things to say, Atlas. I, I am failing. I just scout mean, for people. I'm not going to find too much as Tucson. Going to get that flash on. They're wanting to get some redemption here for Dev. Supercharger. I just killer instinct. All right, gonna jump on top of him. They grab that kill. All too easy here for King Zone. The bottom lane still definitely legit here for this squad. And that's gonna be the top. Around. They've got the Lulu behind him now. You can see. Oh on. no! Oh, that is a beautiful hook from Life. As oh. Dev tries to get to safety. Wild Growth comes in, but it's not enough. Doesn't and that's have a flash. Life, can you press the R key? Oh, yes, he I mean, can. Yeah, cause fear beyond death. That is no more smites available. Rascal gets in at exactly the wrong time. He can observe this Baron going down, but that's about it. Smites all too easy from Peanut. That vision is just luxury. It just makes you feel good. It's not actually necessary. There's not a lot making King's Own feel good at the moment. Uh, Genji fans will be happy yeah. with this because it feels like King's Own couldn't do anything before, and now it's only going to get worse. An offensive right. redemption coming down. Yeah, and the inner turret is just going to be taken for free. Not a whole lot that they can do about it as that Q is really starting to hurt from Ruler. He's got his Gunblade done. True Shot Barrage has to be respected more than almost any other spell in the game apart from maybe a Trouble Bubble. Oh, on the next wave. So here it comes in bottom. You can already see the mid turret. Wow. Goes down to Roach. And here comes the minion wave that's going to also raise the bottom turret. Never mind, actually. King Zone just gives up the position. Yeah, I mean, if Dev takes a chunk like that, he just can't move further forward. They can't use the Akathian Rain for wave clear, and it's just all over. This inhibitor now going to be under fire. They're going to get the two for one special here as Roach has already finished that one off, and the Paddle Stars are landing. The Trouble Bubbles are arming, and King Zone can't move forward. That's a headbutt pole, but Arcane Shift, pretty yeah. strong ability, and Rule is going to be absolutely fine in the back line. Did Nahum just ult Death for no reason? Yeah. Uh, Yes. Is the, uh, that's the educated answer to that question. And, uh, it's just an audacious charge, so it now has an opportunity to come in for a flank. But they're not going to be able to utilize. Just better positioning here. The bottom wave is the one that they need to oh deal with. Oh, man. That is a very oh. much trouble bubble. They throw the kitchen sink at Cuz because this equals Baron. And that is a beautiful play and a beautiful call from Gen G. Fly, I mean, he just took his whole health bar yep. and damage, but that may have just won Gen G the game.
Well, that's another great hook here coming in oh. from Life. He immediately gets booped back as first kill goes down for Def. Supercharger avoids. Baron's going to be removed as a threat. Good. And that's going to be Bax coming in here. Kingzone finds some momentum where they honestly, I, I, I'm not entirely sure how, but it's happened, LS. And Def does a lot of damage. Well, his life gets removed. Yep. And then, now, Genji. Look at this. Start up the Baron, move on off. They're going to accept this inhibitor for free as Kingzone. They don't actually need to fight them. Genji can recall Urgot and have him teleport to the you base. Stop the recalls. Yep. But recall going to come in from Rascal. He doesn't have teleport. This will mean Baron goes down as well. First Nexus turret also down. The Winions playing super well this game so far. As this Baron is below half health, and that's a trouble bubble on exactly the wrong target if you're a Kingzone fan, but in goes Tucson trying to save this one. Peanut has to go into his stopwatch while Grove's on to Def. He needs to be getting these free hits as now Roach in trouble. Deft ultimate is on cooldown, but his positioning is good. Ruler, not sure what you were doing there, buddy, but now you are dead as Rascal finally gets his way back in, and the Baron in amongst all of this did not go down. Peanut, very, very low. Kingzone won't get the Baron right now as Deft trying to jump on forward. Fly just going to be picked off. Trouble bubble or no? But I don't, I think he's going into this blind. He's going to use, oh, oh that point there it is. To land. Vision was available, and the Baron yeah. down to 3,000. Oh. Oh. He flashes into the pit. That just means he dies to death. What? Another Am I wild growth comes up, and this is a disaster. We are playing some tennis yet again. Kingzone against Gen G, throwing this one back and forth. Someone's telling. I, I, I don't. I, oh, I'm, God. Oh, God. It's happening again. Uh, let's make it stop, Atlas. This is a volley. That's a true shot barrage and a very dead Lulu. Double kill for Ruler as he comes off the fountain. Ruler so close to dead is eventually going to go down as Cuz going to do what he can in this fight. Rascal dashing on forward. Life going to go down. Oh, God. This isn't a game of tennis. Oh, down by Deft, most yeah. likely as Redemption is going to spot this one happening. We're looking for a trade, but that Elder got a lot of their buttons available to them. Tucson trying to gatekeep this Baron going down extraordinarily fast. Peanut can't get in there in time, and Kingzone will find the Baron. Oh, that, be doing that's a fair amount of damage. It does a fair bit of damage. This game has been going for 42 and a half minutes. Well, I'm loving every second. Almost looks dangerous, but he's able to get a lot of damage down. Killer Instinct into the back line. Not sure whether it's the greatest move, but they get rid of the turret so quickly. Life lands the hook, but it's not on the one target that they need to hit oh, with it. A flash a out goal. from Kuz is... All right, yep, not going to be finding it there, Roach, unfortunately. And Kingzone now just going to continue pushing. Peanut looking for the flank, wants to find Kuz. First Nexus turret does go down. Kingzone Peanut? have no time for the rest of this as Deft has been slowed down. That's the pickoff, though, as Rascal just launches into the back line, gets two for free, and now Peanut going to be fighting on his birthday, takes down Kuz, gets the revenge. They may not win the game, but they will be able to get at least that kill. Killer Instinct onto Roach but he will have access to his fountain and should be okay. Ruler with... Oh! oh the Akathian Rain not enough as he does get that the shield matter. back. That's a bare nexus. And that is a series win for Kingzone. But a messy one would be the biggest understatement of the LCK 2019. I think Def's face actually says the reality of the situation. Yeah, but he looks so relieved by what just happened. Kingzone should not have been able to come back in that game, and yet they did. Yep, and uh, we have to, so we're going to be praising Deft a lot, right? He played what was a Jugger Kaiser composition very yep. well towards the end. You need to be frontlining if you are the Kaiser in that comp because you're 100% 100, 100 of everything and what yep. that comp's doing. However, we need to look back at the fact that Genji had a lead because they caught Deft yep. twice in ridiculous parts of the map that he should not have been on. Yes, and I, I mean, the whole game just turned very sloppy after the first Baron and the inhibitors were captured. It should have been very easy for...